Service, which should be the watchword of your profession. And what do I find? Lack of service. Sloppy service. Incompetent service. Excellent service. All complaints from... Excellent service? Oh, well, you see, there is someone who appreciates us. I remember this man. He had to be arrested on arrival for being drunk. Another complaint from the Honourable Darcy Jones. We gave him the full VIP treatment. Yes, I played nursemaid to him all the way to Budapest. So he says, unfortunately, he was supposed to be going to Cairo. Oh, well, I, I... Somebody must have put him on the wrong plane. I wonder who was checking boarding passes. Let's see now. Flight 504 to Madrid will be your last assignment. Last? It will be if the cabin service is not 100% perfect. Oh, now don't you worry, Mr Beecham, it will be. This time you will not get one letter of complaint. This time letters will be unnecessary. I shall hear any complaints personally. Does that mean what I think it means? Exactly. I shall be travelling with you. All the way to Madrid. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you please have your passports ready to hand in for inspection? They will be returned to you before landing in Madrid. Thank you. Passport? Thank you, sir. May I have your passport, please, madam? Passport? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Do you mind? Madam, I'll, I'll call back for it. All right. Thanks a lot. May I have your passport, please, sir? Is this the usual procedure? Uh, no, but uh, the Madrid traffic control have just requested the names and passport numbers of all our passengers. Oh. Well, you see, it's the sort of thing they do when they think we've got a film star or a diplomat or a criminal on board. It's rather exciting, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, don't worry. I'll see that you get it back personally. Thank you. Madam? Oh, I guess it must be in the little one after all. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Burton? Oh, yes, well, I can see that's you. Happy honeymoon. Thank you. Now, Mr. Beaker, that's yours. It's not a very good photograph, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, that's Mr. Beecham's. Beecham? Yes. Gee, you do look like him. Oh, do I really? Oh, don't worry, only on the photograph. Oh, there, that's yours. There you are, Mr. Bartlett. Oh, thank and you. And Mrs. Pontingford. Oh. Do you like it? Oh, I can see that's you. That's a lovely photograph. <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. Well, there we are, Mr. Beecham. How's that for efficiency? Too good to be true, Miss Grover. There must be something wrong. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. 
There isn't anything wrong, is there? I protest. This is an infringement of the inalienable rights of a British citizen. It's Mr. Beecham. What should we do about it? Nothing. Take him away. This is outrageous. I demand to see the British Consul. He will visit you in the jail, Mr. Beaker. My name is Beecham, not Beaker. Beaker? Oh, Maggie, it's all my fault. Of course. What is? I must have given him the wrong passport. What are you talking about? I've got to find Mr. Beaker. Who's Beaker? Look, just look after these and stay there. <gasps> Mr. Beaker? Oh. Thank goodness I found you. Oh, is there something wrong? Well, you know the passport I gave you? Well, it's the wrong one. Well, it's not really wrong, it's just not yours. Well, yes, I know, but as it happens, the wrong one was the right one. For me, anyway. The wrong one was the right one. I swapped those passports myself. But if you've got Mr. Beecham's passport, then that one in there is yours. And you're the man who should be in prison. Oh, no, please, let me explain. Can you? Over here. Millie, remember me? Is there any reason why I shouldn't turn you in? You see, I am a bank teller. And you've been taking home samples? Well, I suppose it could seem like that. You see, in the books, it looks as though I've embezzled 50,000 pounds. Excuse me. What's going on? He's a bank teller. In the books, it looks as though he's embezzled 50,000 pounds. What's it look like in his suitcase? No, I think he's trying to tell me he didn't do it. He swears it. Now, you didn't steal that money, did you? No. I don't know. I'm going to ask him. How do we know that you're innocent? Well, I can't tell you here. I've got to find somewhere out of the way where I can use a telephone. How about, how about our hotel room? Then you do think he's innocent. If he can carry some of the stuff, he's innocent enough for me. Oh, oh, quick. There you are. In that. Oh. You just can't do this to a British citizen. I've got friends at the uh, Foreign Office and in Whitehall. Ah, uh, are you in charge here? Okay. Good afternoon, senor. At last. I can't seem to get through to your constabulary. Now, the fact is, my name is Beecham. I'm a staff executive with International Airlines. Okay. I handed in my passport for a routine check, and I was given this one back. Ah. This is not my passport. It belongs to a man called Beaker. Ah, si, si. Now, obviously, this uh, Beaker is wanted for something or other, and your chaps uh, arrested me by mistake. Oh, well... So, you see, the whole thing is an unfortunate... Uh, misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm sure you'll catch your man eventually. In the meantime, I trust you'll kindly permit me to leave. Yeah, hello. But I, uh, uh... No comprendo inglés, senor. I warn you, you're making a grave error. I shall get in touch with the British ambassador. This will be an international incident. You wait and see. And it'll be a very ugly stink in all the newspapers. Oh! All safe. Ah, buenos dias, señora. Buenos dias. No. Caballero. No, and cucumber. Excuse me. Ah, sí, señora. Yes, yes, sí. Now we've really done it this time. Harboring a criminal who stole fifty thousand pounds. Oh. But I didn't. Honestly, I didn't. Okay, so we're harboring a criminal who didn't steal fifty thousand pounds. Well, how did all this happen? Well, you see, last week a chap called Gonzalez came to me to cash a letter of credit for fifty thousand, and it was no good. No, it was as good as gold. But when he put the money in his briefcase, he must have accidentally put the letter of credit in with it, because when he left, the letter had gone. Yes, but that could happen to anyone, especially to us. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I only need a couple of hours. Gonzalez is in Madrid now. Oh, but that's a big city. How are you going to find him? Well, Gonzalez came here to buy Toledo steel. Now, there are only three bulk handlers, and he's bound to be with one of them. OK, two hours. Start phoning. Yeah, well, I'm going to start changing. Yes, yes. Hello? Uh, operator? Gunboats. That's what we'd have given you Johnnies in the old days. Gunboats all along the Costa Brava. There just isn't any discipline anymore. Señor, señor, por favor. Atención. Buenas tardes, mi capitán. El inglés. Allá, mi capitán. 
Good afternoon, senor. You really speak English? Si, senor Pica. My name is not Pica. How many times have I got to tell you my name is Beecham? B-E-A-U-C-H-A-M-P, Beecham! B-E-A-U-C-H-A-M-P spells Beecham? Wrong, senor. It spells Bochamp, senor Beaker. Beecham! Beecham, you olive-eating incompetent! There are two things I would like to point out, senor. First, olives make me sick. And second, I have the power to hold you without trial for many months. Forgive me. It, it was an English joke. Sir, my name is Bochamp. I have documents to prove it. Oh, I am inclined to believe you. Then I can be released? Unfortunately, I cannot take your word for it. Is there not somebody who could identify you? A friend, perhaps? Friends, no. There are two air hostesses, uh, Miss Grover and Miss Ralston. They work for me. They're staying at the Hotel Sevilla. Ah, good, senora. Just one moment. Hi, guys. Dragame a las señoritas, uh, Ralstney Grover, Hotel Sevilla. Rápido. In a little while, senor, everything will be, uh, how you say, boat-shaped. Ship -shaped. I have for you just one more question. Have you got an English cigarette? What is happening here? Nothing's happened here for the last 30 years. Police! Un momento! You know, you can see through that. Under the bed. Entrada. Senoritas Grover, you're Ralston. You're too late, fellas. Halloween was months ago. Did you want something? I gave an ear a corner snorches. Immediatamente. I think he wants us to go somewhere. I feel the same way about them. Repeatamente. Wait a minute. I want to find out something. You. You are a stinking little louse, aren't you? Si, si, senorita. <laughs> they don't speak English. Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, we could leave a message for someone who might be listening. Like what? Like maybe he should turn himself in? Oh, like, as soon as we get rid of these gay cavaleros, we'll meet him at the Granada Bodega. Ah! <laughs> oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as soon as he told us he didn't take the money, we had to help him. He only needs a couple of hours. And you swallowed that story of all the stupid, gullible, hair-brained, idiotic... Yes, well, I knew you'd understand, Mr. Beecham. After all, we are helping to keep an innocent man out of prison. An innocent man? What do you think I am? Oh, that's an unfair question, Mr. Beecham. Then I'll tell you what you are. Both of you, you're fired. F-I-R-E-D, fired! Ah, senoritas. I'm sorry to trouble you, just a small matter of identification. The senor tells me that you work for him, is that correct? Well... Well, as of now, I think I can honestly say that we do not work for this gentleman. But that's not true! You just wait until I get my hands on you, Miss Grover. Threatening behavior is against the law, senor. Yes, you can be put in jail for that. You are quite sure that this man is not your employer? Oh, quite sure. Now we really must be going. <laughs> Don't let them go! That... Calm yourself, senor. I do not have to be taught my job. I have my suspicions about these two young ladies. They will be followed. And now, senor. Hmm? Did you find Mr. Gonzalez? Well, I tried all three offices, just missed him at the last one. No, I do. Beecham's not going to stay in jail forever. If we leave him stewing in there for one more hour, he'll be able to burn his way out. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's hopeless. I shall just have to give myself up. Well, isn't there something we can do? He may have the choice. <gasps> oh, they must have followed us from the police station. Listen, that settles it. You've got to escape. We'll go back with them and see if we can get Beecham off the hook. Oh, okay, oh, wait, out the back way. Lily <laughs> Darcy! Over here! Senoritas, let me get this quite right. First, you do not know this man, now you do know him. How is that? I guess we just didn't recognize him. Senoritas, I like this situation less and less. I'm not too fond of it myself. You say you helped this man Beaker because you thought he was innocent. And you say this man, Bochaps, is also innocent? Oh, completely. Senoritas, in all these innocent people, someone must be guilty. 
I hold you all for further inquiries. This way, please. This may ruin our friendship. See, good afternoon. I trust you will make yourselves comfortable. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see anything to laugh at, Mr. Beecham. I'm only smiling, Miss Grover. When they select you for starvation and torture, then I will laugh. <laughs> well, it's no good lying there. We've got to get out of here. I'm sure if we asked them nicely, they'd open the door. Hey, I've got an idea. Please, Miss Grover, if you have an ounce of decency left in you, don't have an idea. Look, if we could get the guard to open the door, you two could grab him and I could nip out. You could nip out? What about us? Well, it only needs one to go and find Mr. Beaker, then they'll let us all out. Well done, Miss Grover. You've solved every problem except one. What's that? How do we get him to open the door? Oh, well, that's easy. We'll just... Well, we'll tell him we want a drink of water. Guard! Listen, when he brings it in, you two grab him and I'll get out. Water. See, water. Ah, see, sí, vino. That ought to do it, if it doesn't poison us. Unacceptable. Oh, brilliant, Mr. Beecham. I couldn't quite place the vintage. God! Food? Oh. No, 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 no. Ah, comprendo, comprendo. Now listen, when he brings it, Mr. Beecham, grab him. Mr. Beecham, grab him. Maggie, you push him behind the door. Okay. Clever these Latins. Oh, there must be some way to get out of here. I once read a book how a prisoner carved a bar of soap to look like a gun. Mill, there hasn't been a bar of soap in a Spanish jail since the Inquisition. Well, I don't care what you say, there must be some way out of here. Prisoners of war used to tunnel their way out. floorboards are loose. So are your buttons if you think we can bust out of this place. Well, it's preposterous. I don't care what it is. You two give me some cover. I'm going to take a good look. What's your news? Those floorboards come up and somebody's already started a tunnel. Where does it go to, Miss Grover? That's what I want to find out. I'm going to go down there. What happens if Sleeping Beauty misses you? Put a dummy in the bed and tell him we've got a headache. I'm not sure I want to be involved in this um, escapade. That's a very good word, but you are involved, Mr. Beecham. Now, let's see. She always sleeps like that when she has a headache. Listen, you two go over there and guard me. I'm going to go down the hall. I should help so, Miss Grover. Oh, just be patient. I'm nearly through. Attention! Quick, let's put these floorboards back. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, Senor Bocha, you seem to have gained weight. Hmm? Have gained weight. It's all the good food I've been getting in here. Well, we seem to be a prisoner short. Senorita Grove, is it not? Where is she? Uh, she's over there, in the bed. In the uh, uh, bed? Well, she always sleeps like that when she has a headache. She has a headache, eh? And what do you have, senor? He comes. Excuse me, senor. Viva, senorita? Oh, no, I, I was just looking for the powder room. I thought you would like to know. I have brought a friend to see you. Oh, Mr. Beaker. Oh, I'm glad to see you. He has come back to give himself up. And about time, too. I found oh. Gonzales. And look, the letter of credit, proof of my innocence. Senor, senorita, you're free to leave. Kindly leave our dirt behind. Oh, yes, of course. Come on, lover boy, open up. Good afternoon. No, 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 senorita, not you. There is a small matter of attempted escape and damage to our tunnel. You will be detained for the magistrate. I never saw that woman before in my life. I'll have to send you the rest. Oh. Ah, welcome back, Mr. Beecham. Welcome back to England. This little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England, Shut this... Up, Miss Fosdyke. He just spent a day in prison. Prison? These foreigners. Still, I hope it didn't repress your true British spirit. After all, stone walls do not a prison make. Well, they certainly add to the illusion. I suppose I really should do something about Miss Grover. Uh, get me the foreign office, will you? Oh, Miss Grover, I'm just getting on to the foreign office about having you released. Miss Grover, how did you get here?
Service, which should be the watchword of your profession. And what do I find? Lack of service. Sloppy service. Incompetent service. Excellent service. All complaints from... Excellent service? Oh, well, you see, there is someone who appreciates us. I remember this man. He had to be arrested on arrival for being drunk. Another complaint from the Honourable Darcy Jones. We gave him the full VIP treatment. Yes, I played nursemaid to him all the way to Budapest. So he says, unfortunately, he was supposed to be going to Cairo. Oh, well, I, I... Somebody must have put him on the wrong plane. I wonder who was checking boarding passes. Let's see now. Flight 504 to Madrid will be your last assignment. Last? It will be if the cabin service is not 100% perfect. Oh, now don't you worry, Mr Beecham, it will be. This time you will not get one letter of complaint. This time letters will be unnecessary. I shall hear any complaints personally. Does that mean what I think it means? Exactly. I shall be travelling with you. All the way to Madrid. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you please have your passports ready to hand in for inspection? They will be returned to you before landing in Madrid. Thank you. Passport? Thank you, sir. May I have your passport, please, madam? Passport? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Do you mind? Madam, I'll, I'll call back for it. All right. Thanks a lot. May I have your passport, please, sir? Is this the usual procedure? Uh, no, but uh, the Madrid traffic control have just requested the names and passport numbers of all our passengers. Oh. Well, you see, it's the sort of thing they do when they think we've got a film star or a diplomat or a criminal on board. It's rather exciting, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, don't worry. I'll see that you get it back personally. Thank you. Madam? I guess it must be in the little one after all. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Burton? Oh, yes, well, I can see that's you. Happy honeymoon. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Mr. Beaker, that's yours. It's not a very good photograph, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, that's Mr. Beecham's. Beecham? Do you know, you do look like him. Oh, do I really? Oh, don't worry, only on the photograph. Oh, there, that's yours. There you are, Mr. Bartlett. Oh, thank you. And Mrs. Pontingford. Oh, do you like it? Oh, I can see that's you. That's a lovely photograph. <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. Well, there we are, Mr. Beecham. How's that for efficiency? Too good to be true, Miss Grover. There must be something wrong. <laughs> wrong, is there?
I protest. This is an infringement of the inalienable rights of a British citizen. It's Mr. Beecham. What should we do about it? Nothing. Take him away. This is outrageous. I demand to see the British Consul. He will visit you in the jail, Mr. Beaker. My name is Beecham, not Beaker. Beaker? Oh, Maggie, it's all my fault. Of course. What is? I must have given him the wrong passport. What are you talking about? I've got to find Mr. Beaker. Who's Beaker? Look, just look after these and stay there. <gasps> Mr. Beaker? Oh. Mr. Baker, thank goodness I found you. Oh, is there something wrong? Well, you know the passport I gave you? Well, it's the wrong one. Well, it's not really wrong, it's just not yours. Well, yes, I know, but as it happens, the wrong one was the right one. For me, anyway. The wrong one was the right one. I swapped those passports myself. But if you've got Mr. Beecham's passport, then that one in there is yours. And you're the man who should be in prison. Oh, oh please, let me explain. Can you? Over here. Millie, remember me? Is there any reason why I shouldn't turn you in? You see, I am a bank teller. And you've been taking home samples? Well, I suppose it could seem like that. You see, in the books, it looks as though I've embezzled 50,000 pounds. Excuse me. What's going on? He's a bank teller. In the books, it looks as though he's embezzled 50,000 pounds. What's it look like in his suitcase? No, I think he's trying to tell me he didn't do it. He swears it. 